Well, indeed, one does need to experience China in order to be able to report with a clear perspective. My colleague Jane Keogh was recently there. She shares her experiences. Well, I've been to China three times in 2013, 2017 and 2018. My first trip in 2013 was just immediately after I'd just joined um, CCTV Africa, now CGT and Africa, and the trip was mainly for training. In 2017 and 2018 have both been work trips, and so I've been able to kind of get a feeling of what China is all about. I've gotten a chance to interact with our colleagues um, in China. And you'd say um, largely because I've not just worked in Beijing, but also out of Beijing, trips to Shanghai using the bullet train, which is the fastest in the world, uh, trips to Henan and Guangdong. Of course, I would say my most memorable event to date has to be the coverage of the two sessions. This is, of course, China's biggest political event of the year. Just to get to know how the NPC, the CPPCC, um, get to work with each other, understanding the whole political process. Of course, you cannot digest all that in a month, but I would say it was a beginning. Well, by traveling to China and being able to interact and work with our Mandarin colleagues, it certainly helps us to understand the country itself, China, which is no doubt on an upward trajectory. It's now a major player on the global arena. And so going to China helps one to understand what this country is all about, especially here in Africa, where you'd say you can see the footprints of China in almost all of Africa in terms of infrastructure development, the construction of roads, in the health, agriculture, almost every other sector. And this is just the beginning. One space. Well, the importance of what we do as the media and journalists cannot be overstated. We are the link between these two people, that's China and Africa. And therefore, we have a chance and opportunity to bring China to Africa and take Africa to China using our different mediums. And in this way, we will be able to educate, inform, and entertain. And one thing that definitely stands out between these two people is the issue of culture. China is strong on culture, so is Africa, and they're different cultures. And so these two people have to find a way to embrace each other's culture so as to strengthen their relations. There's no doubt relations between China and Africa have continued to grow and deepen over the years. In fact, I remember that press conference by Foreign Minister Wang Yi during the two sessions where he described the bond, the bond between Africa and China as an unbreakable one. This September, we know that China will be hosting the FOCAT Summit for the first time in 12 years, and this is where the two sides will get to discuss cooperation in different fields. And I think this is one way to enhance these relations. But on a personal level, I think they need to encourage their people to interact more, where we have more Chinese coming to Africa and Africans going to China, and therefore we get to embrace one another.